Welcome to St Anne's Old Links. Playing 18 today. Trying to get used to these Lynx style courses for the open qualifier. Probably be bouncing a few shots in. See if the greens hold. Hopefully it'll be a similar sort of thing when we get to Hesketh in two weeks time. But as I said, practice on the courses or courses like what you will be playing in your competitions. So let's get a little bit of chipping done, a little bit of putting. We've got 20 minutes. Let's go. Come on, big boy. That was a nice start. Better. Roll out. Roll out. Yeah. Not turning. There you go. Yeah, that answer putter, it like, it doesn't, like this tings, you know, when you hit it. Yeah. The other, the answer one, it just kind of, it's a bit, bit quieter, but it feels quite soft. You know, just dead nice. Okay, here on the first tee. Aim at Blackpool Tower, just left of it. Let's see whether we can bounce onto the green, 350. You all right with us going? <laughs> oh gosh, that's not going on the green. It's gone left. left. Gone left, a bit of a hooky one. We'll find it. Well, that wasn't the start I was anticipating. Thought, oh, fairways will be hard. Get the ball up in the air. Snap hooked it. Then thinned a shot. Knocked on in three. Let's see if we can make a two putt and make a good opening bogey. We've got some work to do. It's falling a little bit to the right at the end, I think. Going straight at it. Turn in. Oh, nearly had it. That would have been a steal, wouldn't it? Sit, sit, sit. Massive thin. Out of frame. Not switched on. Come on. What a start. If I can get to the greens, I think I'll be all right today. Oh. Not much more I could have done there, I don't think. Okay, what I mean here is control your misses, not your wife. On this hole, the miss was not right because of that big hump, which made chipping the ball close to the hole virtually impossible, leaving you with a hard shot for your next one. Great effort. Found the bunker here. Playing golf today, are you? Sit. Oh my gosh. Okay, things aren't going to go your way all the time. One of the worst things you can do is chase a score. I tried to bury that putt then. Obviously gone three or four foot past. Leaves you a tough one coming back. But when you do do something like that, make sure you take your time, go through your routine and limit the damage. Is this a lesson to just keep plugging? Am I going to get back on track? Giving the driver another chance. Hopefully get one. Hit well. i slow it down. That's better. See it. Better. Slowed it down. I'm trying to hit the back off it. <laughs> On the par five. Absolutely tanned one up here, but just shows that you need to get 
somewhere and hit some balls first. Actually hit balls rather than just first swing of the day or first swing that counts is hitting a ball. It's just silly. Helicopter landing over there. Gotta keep plugging, I think this is a lesson in keep plugging on. Let's try and break 80. Come on, big boy. All right, second shot in to this par five. What have I got in? 191 to the front. Six iron. And the bunker, 217 to the flag. 200. You can fly it 200, you can go at it. gone right. Stay out of that bunker please. Stayed up on top of the bunker. What am I doing with this swing? Just need to just sort this out. I came here really thinking that the ball would go a mile today. It didn't really feel windy but it must have affected my ball a lot. I thought this six iron would carry 200 yards whereas in reality it was probably about 180. I think I'm going to have a good look at weather apps and really trust them on the day. Something fundamentally wrong, I think, at the moment. Right, can we have something happen? Get some sort of feel. Yeah, 54. Run out just a little bit. Come on. Sit, sit, sit down. How's that not gripped just a little bit? Right, can we please start playing golf? This is shocking. Not easy at all. Not even scared the hole, it didn't turn a bean. Hi, Nick's changing the setting on his driver. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to do that. No, my last drive was good. Just need to keep going with them. Left again. How am I getting these hooks? Never ever do I do that. Not getting through it. While we watch Nick tee off, just need to stress the importance of feeling good on the day. My own fault, I've not stretched in a couple of days, my back felt a bit tight. I think these hooks are coming from lack of hip movement, which leads to a very armsy and upper body swing. So for the next 10 days or so, I'm going to be on a full stretch program to try and sort this out. Let's see. Love to. Okay. Oh, we're having a day of it today. Oh. 284 to the middle. I'm trying it hybrid and get down there. See if we can get it rolling somewhere close. Stay there. Stop going right. We're somewhere around. My back is just not there today. Shot three. Into this par five. Hard, hard, hard today. But we've got to keep plugging. I land this short. Hopefully we'll land and run on. It's not even run. It's not even run. Looking at it from this angle, you can see there's a big run off from the front of the green. I should have checked this before I played my shot. Could have pitched it up to the green there. Good effort, good putt. 
giving yourself many chances for birdie. Had it if I hit it. Another par, two pars in a row, I'm doing well. All right, not really a fader's hole, but I'm gonna try and, huh? It is. Can't complain about the weather, it's lovely, but let's just play a little bit better golf. That's all we need to do. Over that bunker on the left. Yeah, good bounce and a good roll. Roll around to the left a bit, hopefully keep you in the fairway. Better tempo. Seventh hole, finding it. What have we got to the pin? One, three, one to the pin. Nice pitching wedge. Let's have a drink. And some high quality H2O. All right, come on. Scoring club in hand. Let's pitch it. 125. Dart it. That looks good. Please be the right club. Get in. Oh, that is close. I think. Alrighty, Roo. I think it was as close as I thought it would. But as Nick said, when you get closer to the hole, you seem to get further away. We've got a chance for a birdie. First chance of the day. See if we can take it. I'll just double check this line, I'll let you go. Hackyog. Yeah, good putt. You left lip that bad boy. Good three. Hard hole that as well. That's why you persevere. Well, if nothing else, we've made a three today. We've made a birdie. So that's good. Staying left, that one. It's just near the bushes, I think. Try and stick to the fairways, Gordon. That would be nice. But we're not in the fairway. We're in this wispy stuff. There's a dragonfly on my ball. Maybe that's good luck. Maybe we can stick one in again. Stick it in close. Wish money penny. 95. To the pin. It's 54. It's an 80 yard shot. Come on. Sit down. It'll do from that stuff. A little bit outright, but I had to grip it a bit harder. Didn't release the club. We're on the green. Chance for another birdie. Let's go. Look at this for a day. It is wonderful. Golf hasn't been the best, but I'm one under through the last three. That's how I think about it. It doesn't matter this round. So you can get two under three, four. Fairly straight, I think. Maybe just a smidgen off the right. It's the right pace again. Good pace. It's a par. I'll take a par there. Alrighty, on the ninth tee. A little bit of wind from behind and the left. Should facilitate my normal swing, which I seem to have lost today. Should facilitate that. Yeah, men have just shook hands. I think they're going in after nine. Let's see if we can make a good shot. 150. Start it just left of the pin and let it come in. Ah! Going right, kick left. I think it has kicked left a little bit, but. Bit too much of a fade on it. But it'll be okay. Look at this for a shot. It's 
see what we can do with this one. Can't believe it's not come down from here. Just gripped again. Not expecting them to grip. Oh well. Well then. Good three. See if I can follow you. A right lipper, a left lipper, sorry. Oh, how's that missed? How's it not turned? Another hook. Okay, way wad oh. Way wad. To stop doing these hookies, not helping my brain at all. See if we can get back going the right way. He's uphill towards the hole. Okay, par four. Three, four, eight. Another birdie chance. Nick's just pumps in a birdie on the last. Let's see if we can keep going the right way. I'm level for the last six holes, so happy, so happy with that. Don't start like a cheese ball. Don't go in the bunker. It is. It's rolling into it, that greenside bunker. That's the punishment I get for a good drive. Didn't manage this hole very well. Went with driver, tried to drive the green. Greenside bunker, obviously everything runs into there. So if it would have gone five yards left or five yards further left, it would have been on the green and I would have been putting for eagle. But get in the bunker, chip out, don't get up and down, make you five. Is it worth it? I don't think so. Pick a shot that's not going to reach the bunker, chip on, birdie put, and then we go from there. So I'm just going to try and have fun now. Sometimes, when you're trying for good scores all the time, it just takes the fun out of it. it looks all right. Just took a big kick left. I don't know what this is, 411. Not reaching that. Good shot, though. All right, shall we do something now? Shall we? Just play a little bit better. That'd be nice. Come on, you're playing Burtdale tomorrow. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this today? Right, let's have one good chip. Pitching it around here and then it run out a little bit. He had 100 yards in with this shot, or I wanted to play a 100 yard shot. Didn't take into account the wind, it's obviously stalled up and it's caught the ridge before the green, which makes me need another chip, which you don't want too many of these when it's so bouncy. Sit, sit, sit. Right, coming round from the left. It went over there. <laughs> It'd have been nice if that was the hole.
that's not turned either, just a, right after the hole. Seems to just when it dies. Straight into the teeth, this next one. Par three. Let's just enjoy it. One, seven, seven. We've got. It's a big old smack, man. Yeah, I think it's a six iron. I think it's into the teeth as well. I think they've moved these tees back. They play it like a one. 90, 200 yard shot. Can't see it. On the grass, the hard grass on the right. But what, the long grass or? Long grass on the right, yeah. Long grass? Yeah, you know, it must have sliced. Little worm burner. Pitch it just before the green. Go, 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 go. It's all right. I'll take it. Put up and down. Decent three. Are we back or are we going to disappear again next hole? Who knows? I think I'll let him move. His light, the line's like right over his head. It's a pin over on the left. I think I'm going right over your heads. <laughs> We'll, we'll find it. Okay, gonna rattle through the rest of this round. Gonna, gonna go through the 10 lessons learned from today. Number one, hit balls before you round. Actually get to that practice net or the range and hit balls before you take your first tee shot. Lesson number two, trust your read. You read it better from behind the ball. Do not change your mind when you're over the putt. If in doubt, back off and reread it. Lesson number three, take time on chip shots. Go through your routine, pick your landing spot, and make sure of the good strike. Number four, miss the green on the correct side. Okay, don't short side yourself. Have a look at the hole, where the pin is, and decide where, if you were going to miss the green, where would be best to miss it and aim there. Tip number five, don't chase a score. Don't try and ram it into the hole. Leave yourself a three, four footer on the way back. Could miss that one, and then it just leads to more and more mistakes. Relax, play your game, and play one shot at a time. Number six is slow it down. It will bounce and it will roll on this firm surface, especially in Lynx Golf. Number seven, consider the wind. It definitely, definitely has a huge effect on these wide open spaces because generally there's not too many trees around to shelter you. Next one, keep it on the short grass, even if it leaves a longer shot into the green. More control from the short grass. Even the semi-rough loses you a lot of spin control. Number eight, this is before the round, stretch and feel supple. We don't want any excuses outside of golf on the day. Get on a stretch program two weeks before. Check out this cheeky chip, by the way. Naughty. And the nutmeg put to go with it. This guy's crazy. Tip number 10 is take your positives from your practice rounds and on the actual day. Everyone can find faults with the swing, with the game, but if you take the positives, Make sure that that's your focus, you will play better golf. And last one, and probably the most important one, is have fun and enjoy it. You're out playing golf. You could be at work. Too much pressure is applied sometimes to perform. Give yourself a break and enjoy the ride. That's the shot to play. It's like a putt. There you go, cheers bud, well enjoyed that. Well Didn't play the best, but very, very tough day. Learning stuff about the courses. It's those little putt shots with the chipper or with the wedge that are the king of the day. 
thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed it i'm not putting any scores on or anything like that i'm just trying to get used to these links style courses before monday the 26th all the build up for that don't care what the score is here please like and subscribe see you soon